was it was rough. It was it a was, statement win. I think there were like two or three statement, five stocks. Statement win. It was for sure. it was brutal. Um, but people have said, all right, so he went said, toe to toe, but but yeah. uh, Alvin took him straight up at at Genesis Four. Oh, okay. wait, Alvin is had they Alvin? played before yet? Yeah, they played at Genesis Four. Wait, these two players? Yeah. Yeah, they played at G Four. Um, Alvin won, but I think I think Margot or uh, Tacos won. Wait, Tacos. Tacos. Uh, Tacos is the Falcon, yes, and Alvin's Pika, which is interesting because we. Uh, Wait, Alvin's the Falcon. Alvin's the Falcon. No, Alvin is player four. Alvin's the Pika. Oh wow. Yeah, so like I wouldn't expect Tacos to go Falcon, but uh, we kind of expected to maybe see Alvin's Falcon. Alvin yeah. has both a Pika and a Falcon. Uh, apparently, he's been playing Pika a lot, especially against Boom as he did yeah. at G4. He stated because he wanted to prove that you know Peru is all about Pika dittos. They're, they're, we have, they have a mastery at it that's unparalleled. Uh, yeah. But Falcon is really his main. It's the the one that he wins in Peru with too. Yeah. So uh, we dude, might see that out. We don't know. I think like way back in the day, Alvin was playing Fox too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when Hyrule was. Playing he's played that. some, yeah. Um, he's also played some Samus sometimes, but anyway. Okay, so Tacos. Uh, I thought I was gonna even it up. Uh, oh ooh. man, you should have just up there. That sure, was I, I thought that B would have done it. Oh, and this is tough for Tacos. Yeah. Um, I, so, I don't know why Tacos. I talked to Tacos personally about this. I knew he wouldn't go Yoshi, but I don't know why he's decided not to. I, I, I think he should. I, and we, we already know that. Uh, so Alvin has shown since then that like he can take Yoshi's down. He, you know, yeah. he's not uh, gonna this lose is, to them as easily. But this is looking rough though. Yeah, I, Tacos is gonna need a switch. He's either gonna go Kirby or Yoshi. I would bet we're gonna see the Yoshi, but uh, uh, what, I, well, I guess we're up. Yeah, I want to know what these upbeats are. He keeps up being. It's like fancy. Yeah, it's pretty I atypical tacos, really. Um, Honestly, um, he might he might be uh, afraid to get five stocked and like might just be like trying, trying to get, to get one, one kill. One kill yeah. You know, I don't know. Try to throw him off guard a little but, bit. But like, is that really the way it what a recovery? Wow. Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, he went. What? Oh That's the just craziest below thing I've ever him. Seen. All right. That was so good. Tacos gets on the board. Wow, okay. Good shield pressure. We talked about earlier how shields are not safe. If he did not if he did not go past the shield, he would have absolutely got up smash that shield in that scenario. Yeah. Alvin Alvin has just incredible mastery of uh, you know, spacing and placement and, and that includes on shields too. Yeah. Landing oh right God. behind tacos there uh, as he uh, fares through it. Um, okay, this, this, is, doable. this is doable, but uh, it's, it's absolutely hard. It's going to be rough, and, yeah. and Alvin Alvin is known for being uh, really hard to hit, you know. Oh, for sure. Just um, being just being absolutely, all the Peruvians are really big on just uh, defensive movement, just not getting hit, and that's so frustrating to play against. You, you know, it's difficult to, to get past the, the mental pressure of, like, God, I cannot hit this guy. Like, please. Just yeah. give me a chance, right? Look at this. <laughs> wow, what a uh, what an upper off the edge. Ooh, and what a good down. Oh my That's goodness. The first game. Wow. Okay, quick switch to Yoshi. What do you think? <laughs> I think my Falcon's gonna win. Oh wait, no, he, he already is Falcon. Um, yeah, Alvin has to pick here. Give it up, maybe. Oh, this is this is a bad idea. No. This is a bad idea. No. No, Tacos. Tacos, you know, uh, in the past we've seen him bring out DK. And, in sets where it looks like he can't win, he just like wants to try it out. Um, I think he's banking on the fact that uh, Alvin probably doesn't have enough experience in the matchup. But I just uh, so. But here's the thing for me. So does Tacos want to win this fight? Yes. Okay. So here's my question. If he if he thinks that like okay, I I, I might be out of this set. I already lost game one. Um, does he really see giving Alvin potentially grand finals? Even if he made it to grand finals, now he has to win two sets against Alvin. Is that his best opportunity to win the event? Yeah, um, yeah, I don't agree with the choice either. And not it's tough. I, I, I understand what you're saying, like trying something out when he knows he's in, he's in trouble. Yeah. But, uh, giving, giving winners of grand finals is, is tough, especially against a player like Alvin. And not even looking that long term, if you just look at this game in particular, or not necessarily the mindset behind it. Right. Um, there's there's absolutely a skill gap between Alvin and Tacos. Uh, sure. We'd be lying sure. if we said there wasn't. And maybe even, not as big as some may think, but yeah, yeah it's but there, there. There's, there's, there's for sure a skill gap. Yeah. And let's say Alvin has never played a DK. 
it's still a bad matchup for DK. It, there's still a skill gap. You know, you're really putting a lot on the line by just throwing out a DK like this. Like, you, just, just the tools that, oh my god. <laughs> just the tools that Mika has. And I, I also... I, oh, what was that? <laughs> I wonder if uh, Taco's playing on Hori in the Z. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah exactly. I wonder if that was a mistake or um, what that was. I, I also, uh, from what I remember, I, I, I know that the times that the Koreans have played, so they don't play low tiers that often. Yeah. But they also take pride in just being able to, just, like, invalidate those characters. They're like, no, the reason we don't play these characters is because they're terrible. Like, you can't just play DK. This is looking awful. That, yeah. Oh. Um, oh, you know, one thing we're not giving uh, Tagore respect for, though, is in the low-tier tournament, I heard, I didn't watch, but I heard he wrecked Alvin's, I think it was DK Ditto, with his own DK. He did, he did. Oh! So, so here's the thing, uh, and and this is why I'm, I'm kind of upset at this decision. Tacos has been destroying it at this event. Wow. He's by far the MVP of doubles, for without sure. question. They won it from winners, and, and he he was the sole reason they won, like, half their winner sets. Yeah. Uh, he won low tier. I, I, very stacked low tier. There was hundreds of players. Hundreds. Yeah. There's about a hundred players. Um, he won YOLO. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what character he got for YOLO? I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, maybe Dark Mills, who uh, Tacos played in. But, um... Oh, Yoshi. DK, yeah, he got DK. Oh, that's pretty much So, I mean, like, okay, here's the Yoshi. So, um, I think this will be the best game so far. Uh, I hope. You know, oh, oh, oh tech air. Wow. Oh, nice. That's a bad situation. Pika actually, um, Pika has one of the worst tech rolls in the game. Um, yes. It's really one of, easy. One of his few weaknesses. Yeah, one of the few. Um, and Yoshi is actually the best tech chaser in the game, a lot of people would say. So, that's a real. I, I, would, I would agree. That's a real bad situation when you, uh, Pikachu's sitting on the ground like that. Oh, and what pressure you guys up till jab grab? That's, uh, Yoshi does not have, like, a super good option out of shield. No, no, um, no, A lot of times people just, like, off to immediately double jump or, like, rising there, but most of Pikachu's options just straight up beat that. Yoshi's shield advantage is that he has parry. The shield yes. disadvantage is that his shield options are not great. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is, this is... Characteristic Taco's Yoshi movement. Um, Dude, he's nice. He's right in Alvin's face. Wow. Yeah, he's playing at the edge. Why? And why didn't we go this game one? Yeah. Um, Dude, and maybe we'll see it in grands. You know. Dude, for all we know, you know, he could he could take three straight with Yoshi. Good. Oh. Yeah, Taco's is really really. Uh, he's all about the the. He faces forward. With Yoshi a lot yeah. more than a lot. A lot of Yoshis play their back to you. They like, like to Wizard threaten that back. Yeah. Wizard's all about the back air. Where Tacos is uh, very different now. Uh, about the tacos. Well, and Tacos more than that. He likes to do like retreating fares. He does the retreating fair DJC that gives you good movement yeah. backwards, kind of like a triangle jump. Ooh, and smart read by Alpha to, to read that uh, Tacos. Yeah, the grab. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the beauty of Yoshi's armor, dude. He just Alvin jumps. with a little bit of a smile. Yeah, Alvin knows he messed up there. That's just not knowing uh, the Yeah, I would bet. So I would bet Alvin's got a good handle on this matchup, but I would also bet he does not know the percents at all. Oh, if you got the F tilt. Well, it's also in that situation, what we saw is it broke. Oh! And what an up smash, up out, of smash shield. out of shield! Tacos is, tacos is in the lead! Tacos is in the lead. Slight lead here. Slight lead, yeah. But, but. Oh, he gets oh, baited! The parry! Oh, that's okay, okay. That, that could be it. Yeah, it is. Um, also, yeah, I'll talk about it later, but, uh, um, I gotta, oh, oh my yes, god, he doesn't have that, a jump. Wow! Oh, and an SD an by SD. Elvin! That's that movement I was talking about, though. He did this sort of triangle jump backwards, and then yeah. he came right back forward again and, and attacked. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Man. Risky double jump there, but it pays off. Oh, oh my baby. god, dude, that was the false. Oh, it's smart now. It's smart right from the edge. And, all right, I gotta talk oh about it. Oh my god, Tacos is going nuts. Do you see these double jumps? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going He's going off. All if right. he gets up tilted once, it's a complete stock. Uh, the confidence to just be able to double jump cancel like that in Alvin's face. Alvin, one of the greatest players in the world. Oh, oh my god, gosh. what a fade back. Oh, oh my god! Parry. What the a parry. parry grab from Ledge! Tacos takes it, dude! <laughs> what a oh parry. my goodness. Um, and you know, Yoshi can uh, buffer parry in that situation. Yeah, 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 Dude, absolutely. It's free. You it's just actually, hold Z and buffer parry. You actually see that option 
uh, a fair amount from Yoshi. He's coming up from ledge, parry grab. The the thing is that a lot of people know that, and it's, yeah, it's like, it, it um, can be a, a like what Alvin should have done with forward air in that situation. You can tell that it's not right. Well, it's one of, it's one of those things that like uh, we talked about this on stream. Oh my goodness, dude, Alvin's just rolling. Tacos' movement. It's so hard to tell where he's at, dude. Um, he's just completely overwhelming Alvin off site. He, his confidence in that that Alvin isn't isn't so confident in the matchup that he's going to be able to, to read these DJCs and and really take his jump and stop it. So yeah. he's just controlling the space and the pace in the match. And honestly, uh, Yoshi. Oh wow! Ooh, that was close. Yoshi's such a crazy character that if you're not familiar with the matchup, he's a good. Oh, it is maximum. It is risky. It is a crazy character if you're not used to playing good Yoshi's. Dude, look at now how he's changed his play style. Oh, yeah, no, but look at that. He just spaced out and then he approached yeah, the yeah, air. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's really, his he's trying to ta talk about, oh my it. god, what a parry. Uh, but, oh, wow. wow. Yeah, there's like a weird window where Yoshi can uh, spike you off the ground. Oh, wow, right okay, Tacos with the lead again in game four. Remember, he dropped the, he dropped the first two games. Dude, um, Taku's doing a really good job at mixing up whether or not he goes in with the front of Yoshi or the back. Yoshi will oh. get up tilted. I don't know if he used his jump though. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, reminder for, for those uh, watching us commentate, we actually do not have game audio. Oh my gosh, it missed! Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we don't have game audio, so we can't even hear when Yoshi does a hmm and like yeah. misses his jump, so. If we don't know, it's not our fault. Oh, oh no! that's gonna do it! What an early kill! Oh my god! Dude, those last two stocks gone in an instant. Tacos out here with the lead in game four. Dude, yo, if Tacos reverse 3 0s Alvin, can you imagine? Dude, I gotta say, uh, this is looking like Tacos' is event. Um, he's so Absolutely. good in all the events. That's, that's all what these. I keep saying. And, and it's not it's not just that he's won every event that he's touched, he has dominated every yeah, event that he's sure. touched. His, his Kirby was by far the most dominant thing I've seen in doubles oh, in a long time. And, uh,. And dude, it's different because you know towards the end of last year, towards the end of 2016, Taco. Wow! Oh wow! Here we go. Taco's had some questionable finishes, and he's really showing us that you know it was just a fluke. He, right, right, he's right. back in it. He's ready to win. He he dropped out at, at SmashCon or bustered out, whatever. Yeah. One of the two. Um, okay. Back Taco, to even. Taco's. Uh, those two socks though went, went pretty quick. Um, Alvin's really trying to Yeah, Alvin. Up. Alvin turned it up. He got that up smash. Uh, yeah. Confirm. Ooh, interesting to let the Alvin, wind carry him left and then back throw him. Alvin getting a little bit better. Oh, you, you see the up tilts coming out. Yeah. Um, Alvin is getting a lot better at reading uh, Tacos' really strange way of moving. Um, grab him. Oh, Ooh, that was good like recovery for Tacos. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, what a short move. But I think, yeah, you see Tacos changing up how he's moving too because he knows that Alvin's reading into it a little bit. He can't be doing the same thing anymore. Yeah. Or Alvin's going to up tilt him and he's going to lose his stocks. Yeah, and you saw the, you saw the fair come out because he can't, he can't, uh, uh, yeah. uh, parry that because it's a drill. This is, um, you know, Tacos on his winner of stock. Uh, yeah, winner of stock. So he's still got losers, but... Yeah. Ooh, he did the forward air the other way. I wonder if... Uh, oh, is that a jump? Man. Okay. No. Oh, oh, dang. Okay. All right. Dude, last stock. Last stock situation. And, you know, I want to take the time out there. The room goes quiet. Yeah. Oh, no jump. Oh, oh. my goodness. Wow. Do it. Alvin just caught him with his invincibility. No jump. I want to um, I want to really quick in like the time between the matches talk about uh, there's a lot of psychology behind um, Tacos' play style in that matchup and Alvin's play style. So we were talking about earlier how Alvin, uh, the Peruvians in general are very defensive. They always try to play yeah, it safe. Yeah, yeah. Try not to get hit. Yeah. Don't get hit. So when you see um, Tacos doing the the double jump cancel fair over and over right in his face, it kind of makes uh, Alvin play Tacos' game because the way to beat that is to just up tilt Yoshi. Right. But what Tacos is waiting for is a mistimed up tilt. Yeah, exactly. And, and then he gets a huge punish. So yes. you have a, a, a player like Alvin who's so used to playing, you know, very safe, very safe. And Tacos is like, nah, you're going to play my game and we're going to do a bunch of 50-50s. And it's right. going to be a very punish heavy matchup. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's, that's exactly right. So Alvin, Alvin really used to, and, and you're right, you can't do this as much against Yoshi, especially against the way Tacos is playing. Um, 
wants to play like you know, don't get hit. I'm gonna chip you out. I'm yeah. gonna get the up air and then like take take the stock. Uh, doesn't work as well against Yoshi. You can it armor through that. You can get punished for that. Yeah, Yoshi and so, really makes you so play yeah, this game. So yeah, you had to see Alvin adjust to, to doing the up airs. But as you mentioned, that that's kind of a play that that Yoshi's trying to make. Once you start doing those up airs, then they switch it up. They delay it. And then yeah. they can get the punish there. So he's forcing Alvin to play proactively. Yeah, something that, as you mentioned, the Peruvians aren't. Uh, maybe the, uh, they could be adept at it. We don't yeah. know, but it's just not their style. It's not yeah. their preferred mode. Um, yeah. So next match we've we have got Dexter Marguas. Dexter Marguas. We've seen it before. I'm sure we'll see it many times again. This is a. Uh, this is gonna be a super high level Pikachu Ditto. Um. And, and, and we've already seen Dexter at least play some high level Pikachu Ditto. He played sure. Joshi uh, in winners. Um. So the thing with the Mexican Pikas like Marguas and Dexter and Alvin's Pikachu. Um. Dude, they're vastly different. Okay, I think Here, here's here's Dexter's stats. Oh, yeah. Can you can you tell us what the red and green means on the side? How has he lost three times? <laughs> Darn. Okay. Um. Well, you know, Dexter's losses are Super Boom Fan, Isaiah Wingara, all very um fair losses. I it for sure is because he hasn't lost a Fire Blaster. Okay, look here down. I'm, uh, no, because he hasn't lost twice yet. Anyway, uh, all right, G three. Uh, that's like over a year ago. Um, Wingara Wizard, fair losses. Then you have Snowsa two point five. What? What does that say? Snowsa oh, two. Two fifth. Oh, fifth, I was like, what yes. The? <laughs> um, yeah. So that was the first time Dexter really came out and got not top eight, or he got top eight instead of getting ninth, which was his curse before, yeah. as you can see. And then since then, yeah, he went to ODS two. He got second. And then at G four recently, he he. He got it and he fourth, got, I think. Yeah, he got fourth. Um, yeah, SmashCon uh, was the, the now now famous set. Uh, Wangara Dexter, the timeout. Oh, that's I right. I was there for that. That was that was amazing. Um, Dexter number nine, deservedly so. Yeah. Uh, it's only getting better. His goal, his goal is to always be in top eight. His goal is to win. Yeah, he. Um, both these players actually. Uh, I try to go up to all the top eight competitors before a tournament, and I'm like, you know him, yeah. I'm like, what's your what's your goal? What do you do in this tournament? Uh, both of them individually are like, oh, I'm gonna win the tournament. Um, it's the way you gotta be. Yeah, and then uh, funny enough, Alvin, um, I asked him who's the first seed of the tournament. Right, and right. He, of course, there's a language barrier, this isn't an exact dialogue. But he was like, oh, you know, let's see what happens. Like, I don't know. Which is weird because, you know.